Now, a world time complication, probably one of the most useful everyday complications that you can have on a watch. However, if you wanna get one with an in-house movement that is Swiss made, yeah, you're gonna have to pay a premium for it. However, this Frederick Constant Classic World Timer, it has something to say about that. And I was lucky enough to be able to wear one for an extended period of time and wanted to do a review. So let's jump into it. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a photo of this FC World Timer on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go do that. I'm gonna be doing a lot more live streams and watch strap giveaways and things of that nature. Uh, but I got a lot of encouragement to do a review of this particular watch and a lot of good feedback as well. And it doesn't look like there's many reviews on the internet of this watch, so let's just do this. But first, Frederick Constant is a Swiss brand that by the standards of the industry is young because it was just founded back in 1988 but it was founded with the hope of delivering value-driven timepieces with luxurious looks that really exceed the price tag. Now the brand currently calling home underneath the Citizen watch umbrella also has developed well over a dozen in-house calibers and falls in an interesting range with their watches. And I've expressed my enjoyment of their watches and the FC Slimline Moonface particularly. However, if we're looking for value for money, this Frederick Grandstand World Timer might take the win here. But the watch at the glance, we're looking at a reference FC 718 and WM for H6. Case size here of 42 millimeters, case thickness of 12.1 millimeters. Movement is an automatic FC718. For water resistance, we're looking at 50 meters, has a sapphire crystal, and a retail price of just over $4,000. Looking at this watch quickly on the wrist, we have quite a substantial watch, no question, and certainly is pushing the boundaries of my six and a quarter inch wrist, or 15.9 centimeters in circumference for my metric system friends. But I would say most people, say above my wrist size, uh, will be able to wear this watch very comfortably. Looking at this particular reference, this one coming with a blue dial. However, you have several different color options with references available for this watch. With this blue dial, of course, a green earthy dial, which I must admit looks pretty cool with that globe texture uh, display of the continents, a silver dial, and a few different rose gold plated variations. This reference coming in stainless steel features a dial with a gray texture display of the globe's continents that nicely plays off the loom-filled alpha hands and circular loom markings. At the six o'clock, we have a subsidiary dial featuring the date that, like the world time function, can all be changed by using the single crown. More on that in a moment. But for those not familiar with the world time complication, it is a complication on a watch that features a rotating inner bezel with a 24 hour display and an outer bezel listing the major cities in each of the 24 time zones. The inner bezel marked to the 24 makes one complete revolution per day and allows you to track all the different time zones of the world. But like I mentioned, one of the most particular and interesting aspects of this watch is that it can adjust all the key functions using one crown. So how this works, when you pull out the crown to the first position, you have the ability to change the date by rotating clockwise and then can rotate the bezel displaying the different cities by turning counterclockwise. And finally, by pulling the crown out to the outermost point, we can then change the time. So to set, pull the crown out to the outermost point to set your local time uh, with the actual analog display. From there, you want to set the city disk to have the local time zone appear at the 12 o'clock. From there, you'll be able to see the hour difference amongst the different time zones, as well as having easy access to seeing the local time. Moving to the side of the watch, we can see a large onion style crown that I think fits the watch well, as the single crown on this watch is where all the connection with the wearer and the watch is made, handling all of the watch's functions. Flipping over the watch, we have their FC718, an automatic in-house caliber from FC that is well done for a watch in this price range with the hollowed out gold rotor, prolonged finished bridges, and fully exposed balance. This movement is operating at a standard four hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, has 26 joules, and this movement also has manual winding capabilities if you keep it at the innermost part uh, position out of the three positions, which I must admit is fun to do with this larger crown. So just to play devil's advocate with this piece, there's a lot going on here, there's no question. With the continents to the subsidiary dial at the six o'clock, to the world time bezel, this is a very populated dial and no, that is not a joke, pointing out the map of the world on the face of the watch. But I, all in all, just putting this out here because I can see some resistance here if you're someone that, like myself, tends to like a little bit more simplicity with a dial. But if you are looking for a world time, probably no issue here. And I think just playing off of this world time complication, this watch does it really well. And this blue dial does look fantastic. However, overall, looking at this piece, you have to admit, there is a lot to appreciate. One thing I really like is the simplicity of the single crown system. 
and the lack of need for additional pushers or anything of that nature. FC has just managed to do this very well and did it without having to sacrifice ease of use. In addition, the in-house caliber is really all you can ask for for a movement of this price and is nicely decorated at that. And taking an outward look of what you have for in-house Swiss made world timers, I think you can come to appreciate this watch even more. So with this, we have a very compelling world time watch that could be one of the best valued ones in the market and certainly worthy of considering for those that are set on adding a world timer to their collection. All right guys, let me know what you think of this watch in the comments down below. If you like this review, want me to do more, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Also head over to our watch strap store. I am really trying to grow out the inventory. Buying a watch strap from there, you're gonna get a great strap. And on top of that, it's probably the best way to support the channel. In addition to going to Bob's Watches, going to the link down below and buying an authentic watch from one of the most trusted names in the industry and a partner of the channel here. And that's a great way to kind of propel us forward and continue to allow us to do what we want to do here. And then finally, if you want to join our watch giveaway, fill out the watch giveaway form and then follow me on Instagram. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.